This is the second part of the MATLAB logical operator sequence. In this video, we'll do more examples of using logical operators. In the last video, we looked at logical scalars. Now let's examine logical arrays. Note that we've used the single OR instead of the double OR. If you use the short-circuited OR, you'll get an error. Just like relational operators, logical operators are applied element-wise when used on arrays. When we run the first expression, we get this resulting logical. And if we run the second expression, we get this resulting logical array. Now we apply the OR to each element in both of the resulting logical vectors. If we look at the first element, both of them are 0, so the first element of this entire expression will be 0. Now we compare the second element. We see a 1 here, which makes the second element of this entire expression 1. And we can do the same for the third element, where we see the 1 here, so the final resulting output will be 0, 1, 1. Let's conclude by breaking down a complex example. There's a lot to unpack here. My advice is to start from the inside and work your way out. Let's start with these two statements. a is less than 2 is false. a is greater than 0 is true. The AND requires both of these expressions to be true in order for the overall expression to be true, so the overall result of this expression is false. Note that we have a scalar logical 0 because both expressions are scalars. The entire left-hand expression is negated by this NOT sign, so we flip the 0 to a 1. Copying and pasting small chunks of code into the command window is also a great debugging tool. So that's the left side of this OR symbol. The right side is much easier to digest. C is a 1 by 3 row vector, so this entire expression will yield a 1 by 3 row vector of logical zeros, since every element in C is not greater than A. This means we have a scalar 1 to the left of the OR, and a 1 by 3 vector of zeros to the right. Just like relational operators, we can apply logical operators to a scalar and an array together. The 1 will get compared with every element in this 0 vector, but because we have an OR, the entire resulting array will be a 1 by 3 row vector of logical 1s. Note that we use the short-circuited AND here because both of these expressions are scalars. We used the single OR here because this is a vector, so the short-circuited OR would have thrown an error. That's it for this demo. Take your time when using relational and logical operators. They can be confusing at first, but thoroughly understanding the ins and outs will pay dividends when we start writing more advanced code.